Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Monday. All right guys, well we're back to get into some of the Real Housewives of New Jersey drama because Andy Cohen went on Radio Andy and he is addressing the recent reunion that was just filmed. Now this was filmed last week. We knew more and more was going to be coming out and he's not holding back so much so that it got to the point where he almost walked off the set. What? We can't have Andy Cohen leaving the set here. Also, Jennifer Aiden is addressing some rumors. Teresa's defending her. This just doesn't stop in the land in New Jersey. We love our coffee talk and our New Jersey ladies. Guys, don't forget, before you smash that like button and get subscribed, we are going live for our members only tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, which is 4 p.m. Pacific for our members only Vanderpump Rules edition. Any questions you have, you can ask them in the live chat. Jason and I will answer them as we worked around the family and the cast and the crew for almost a decade. With that, let's jump right in. It's time for all your binge-worthy pop culture news. Welcome to Up and Adam. Okay, guys, so we're going to get into this Andy Cohen almost losing his ish situation first because this is something that I'm not totally shocked by, but I definitely want to talk about it. Thank you to page six. Andy Cohen almost stormed out of the Real Housewives of New Jersey reunion taping after getting annoyed with Teresa Judice last Thursday. Not annoyed with Teresa Judice. Yeah, annoyed, he said. So, There was a moment when I turned to Teresa and I apologized to her later. I didn't yell at her, but I think I lost my shit with her in a way that I haven't maybe ever before. That's what he said on SiriusXM's Andy Cohen Live. And the Real Housewives franchise reunion host teased that his reaction maybe relates to being a parent of a toddler. Um, Last time he used an analogy, and it was a little bit of a, it wasn't the best analogy, but he was saying that Brandy was like a dog with a bone. And she's like, you, you. And that didn't go over well. So maybe the toddler. And now, I mean, I don't know. Listen, he's Andy Cohen. He can do whatever he wants. We're just living for it. It keeps going. So he teased that his reaction maybe relates to being a parent of a toddler. I almost walked off at one point, he added. But he said, He didn't go into detail over what specifically led him to nearly flee the stage, but he did explain that he struggled with the arguing between Teresa and her estranged sister-in-law, Melissa Gorga. The level of, I won't even say vitriol, I will say hate, Teresa and Melissa have. It's, I mean, the gloves are off, I've never seen anything like it. And the way the two of them were going back and forth, I mean... Again, I'm not totally shocked by this. I feel like we were expecting them to go back and forth. And I'm going to bring up something in a second. But hold on. The Daddy Diaries author explained that neither wanted the other one to have the last word in a petty fight. And he overall found the entire taping both monumental and upsetting. He teased that in addition to Gorga and Judice getting into it, there were also a ton of new allegations and new material to get into. So they didn't spend a ton of time rehashing their tumultuous relationship, as viewers may expect. Sources previously told Page Six that Teresa was completely unhinged and out of control at the season 13 taping. Insiders spilled that Teresa was nastier than ever and cursing at her fellow castmates while coming off very unhappy and mad at the world. However, one source clarified that Teresa specifically got upset over the topic of her family dynamics. This was the first time Teresa, Melissa, and Joe were going to see each other in person. Now, Teresa, her brother Joe, and sister-in-law Melissa have had a rocky relationship for years, but it reached an all-time low this season after the Gorgas didn't attend her wedding and they haven't spoken since. Well, there was also an Instagram situation that came out and you always have to take everything with a grain of salt. You don't know what's true and what's not, but Bravo bees put out there exclusive reality TVs. Melissa Gorga exited the hashtag RHONJ reunion stage moments ago. And reports are alleging that this is the last time she will be in front of the cameras due to unresolvable feud with sister-in-law, Teresa Judice. I mean, That's not something that fans would be totally surprised by because I feel like for the longest time now, we've been wondering, how are you even going to settle this? How does this play out? How do we get to the next place? 
can you even be in the same situation? Because when I had Teresa Judice on, she said that chapter is closed. When I have Melissa on, she also didn't seem incredibly optimistic about them getting to some sort of resolve as far as like the space between her and Joe and Teresa and Louie. So we don't know. We don't know. But that's why we should take it over to Jennifer Aiden. Okay, here we go. Teresa Judice is addressing her wedding guest list drama and Jennifer is being slammed as Teresa's puppet. Plus, Jennifer is explaining why she speaks on her behalf. After watching as Jennifer spoke for Teresa on multiple occasions in regards to her wedding drama surrounding Melissa and her family, Melissa suggested that Jennifer was acting as a puppet for her sister-in-law as she suspected Jennifer doesn't let Teresa speak because she thinks that she'll say something wrong. You're going to keep pressing me. Yeah, all right, Teresa said on the April 11th episode of The After Show when the tension surrounding the guest list for her August 2022 wedding was mentioned. They keep making a bigger deal of that than it is. I'm in a happy place. I'm getting married, so I want to be happy. During the episode, Melissa and her castmates were left in shock after Jennifer proclaimed that Melissa was only invited to the event out of obligation. I said she has to invite Melissa out of obligation. Really? I don't remember saying that. Jennifer alleged, as Teresa suggested, it was a familiar comment to Melissa. It sounds familiar because Melissa's sister said that at the christening that I was only invited because of a formality. Her own sister said that. I'm not saying this is what I'm thinking, and that's what Jennifer clarified, but as for why she often butts in for Teresa, Jennifer said she's trying to help. I'm trying to explain to you what my friend is trying to say and having a hard time with because that's what we do for friends. I'm just trying to help here. At the end of the day, I'm just trying, you know, sometimes to articulate what I feel Teresa is trying to say. But Teresa would be the first one to tell you, I'm a big girl, Jennifer. I don't need you to speak on my behalf. She's been around. This is season 13. She's been around for all 13 of them. She handles her own. She flips tables. She throws drinks. She pops off in Nashville. Teresa's got it. I don't think... I would worry about Jennifer, not Teresa. But I think that they're all angry that Teresa has somebody that can kind of make out what she's trying to say before she says it. Maybe it wasn't the best delivery, but we have to take into account that Teresa doesn't always have the best delivery. It's like you guys are sister-in-laws, but at the end of the day, you're family, you're friends. If there is true love there, none of that should matter. Now, in her own segment of the Real Housewives of New Jersey after show, Margaret spoke of her annoyance with Jennifer's behavior, saying... Jennifer thinks she's a mouthpiece for Teresa, which is so annoying. And then she just sticks her foot in her mouth and makes everything worse. She's not making the situation better. I swear to God, I think she's trying to make it worse. I'm not even fucking around with that. It's so annoying to me how Jennifer has to answer all of Teresa's questions. And Melissa agreed with saying she doesn't let her answer the question because she knows she's going to say something wrong. So she literally makes Teresa stop talking and answers her questions for her. According to Rachel Fuda, Louis Ruelas has exhibited similar behavior. It's kind of what Louis does sometimes. Louis does the same, but Jennifer does not let Teresa speak. That's Melissa's standpoint. And she went on to shade Jennifer as a Muppet and a puppet. No one's answering, no one's answering for me. Why does Teresa get a little Muppet puppet? She doesn't even have to answer questions anymore. She just sits back like that bitch will answer for me. Hmm. Okay, guys, well, it's safe to say that we're all excited for the New Jersey reunion now. <laughs> I don't even know where to go from here, but I can't wait to watch it play out. Guys, we'll be back tomorrow night, Tuesday night, for our Real Housewives of New Jersey after show, after party. And then, of course, on Wednesday, we'll be back for the actual recap. So we have a lot going on. But in the meantime, tonight, like I said at the very beginning of this, join us for our members-only Vanderpump Rules edition at 7 p.m. Eastern, which is 4 p.m. Pacific. We have a lot to go over and we'll be talking about all of it. I love you guys and we'll see you so very soon.